Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Blackie Lebowski. We're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Now, this console, I feel like it's going to save gaming. Yeah, I just said it. Look how boring everything is. Gamers are splitting hairs over pixels and all this other shit. The AAA third-party developers are running wild with their bullshit. And, you know, the Nintendo Switch, they this thing is real. And people still want to question what this thing is going to do for the gaming industry. And there's these, there's still these stupid fucking Nintendo haters that, that they're convinced. They've convinced themselves the best thing for Nintendo to do is, like, get a black box with a bunch of specs in it, slap Nintendo on it, give everybody just a traditional controller, get all the third-party support, and everything will be okay. We already got two of those systems right now. And even though I like my Xbox One S, it's actually really good. Battlefield 1 is really good. There's a lot of bullshit. People are not buying these, these games like they were. Like, people fight on the fucking internet more about video games than they play in this generation. I, I can almost guarantee you there's some, there's a, a statistic out there that proves that. It has to be. Like, and then gamers have some other stupid shit that comes out of their mouths. It was only 32 gigs. It uses cartridges. Do you not know the advantage of that shit? I could get all technical with it. But the best technical term is that you're a fucking dumbass. And maybe you should go get up to speed with your shit. It doesn't need 500 gigs like an Xbox where every goddamn game gets downloaded. Don't we just love that shit? I mean, let's let's pray the next goddamn consoles are 5 terabytes. So all of our shit can go on there. We can wait forever for every game to download. Jesus, Nintendo, why the fuck would you want to put the memory on the game itself? That's just That just makes what type of Nintendo. There goes Nintendo again. They need to build a Steam Machine box where it says Nintendo, and that'll fix it. Because I'm so fucking smart. You people are asking for the goddamn death of the gaming industry. You don't even know it. Like, this thing, the, you can't even pre-order it. And they're like, it's artificial demand. Nintendo haters remind me of, like, social justice warriors or, like, feminists. They just get fucking the trigger. They just get triggered all the time over stupid shit. They can't handle it. They can't handle their hate. The gaming media, like, look at all the fucking rumors, and they talked all this shit. Like, the console, this, the Nintendo Switch was Googled more than the Xbox One or PS4 in 2016, and they showed it in October. But somehow, there's artificial demand for the system. Like, it just, it almost damn near broke the internet when they showed it. You know what I'm saying? All the rumors coming in. But it's artificial demand, right? Because who the fuck would want to play Zelda? On launch day. Because, you know, the PS4 and Xbox One, they had so much better launch titles than Zelda. Let me tell you what. Gamers, you're, it's like you're so fucking stupid. We're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch. And it's about to be successful, guys. And the ideology of these internet fucking fake gamers. It's about to be shattered. Because their whole ideology is that Nintendo sucks. Everything they do is wrong. They're bad for the industry. They need to compete with the Xbox One and PS4 more. They need to get the same third-party games and run the same specs. Like, that. that is so, like, stupid. You're a fucking ass pirate times ten if you think that. Like, that is completely asinine thinking that just makes no sense. They're willing to put on blinders and ignore everything that's awesome about the Switch. And I mean, fuck, there is so many cool things that I could just go on and on about. Like, it's, like, I just, it's, it's just a cool gadget. It's a cool gaming machine. Like, they're like, it's been made before. Like, where, where the fuck has this been made before? Like, what, what broke the fucking internet like this thing has before? Can you please display or some more of that social justice warrior logic? Well, you just, you guys, this, this thing is going to be amazing. I'm here to just say it. I know this. It don't have to sell everything in the world. Like, the Wii U was, was really good, man. But nobody knew what that console was. People were like, it's going to be another Wii U. Are you sure? Because the Wii U, people thought it was a peripheral for the Wii, okay? And then this system used, you know, like, peripherals from the Wii. Like, the Nunchuck and the Wii Motion Plus. That's so confusing already, and I know a lot about that shit, okay? Like, the consumer just didn't know what was going on. It's a pretty cool little system, man. And so I think that you just have a bunch of stupid fucking fat asses and haters 
with this idea that Nintendo needs to be a certain way. And if we ha if gaming went their way, like it would crash. It would completely crash. Like like these people, like I'm sorry to say this, but these motherfuckers are half of more a bag of Doritos and a light jog away from having a stroke. Okay, so they're not the most intelligent people on the planet. So, I mean, why the fuck would you listen to them? To me, that makes absolutely no sense. People want to complain about the Nintendo Switch having a 32 gig hard drive, but don't want to mention cartridges that don't take up none of the space whenever we're sitting here putting downloading games for hours on these systems. Like, you, you fucking would have to be the biggest ass pirate to not look into this information and come up with your own conclusion. Like, if you're watching, like, these idiots who are putting out this misinformation, I mean, I guess you deserve to watch them, and you deserve not to have your Switch. You don't deserve it. I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that everybody does not need to have this system. Like, you stupid fucking ass pirates who sit on the goddamn internet all day and talk shit through the comments, that's where you need to be. You don't need to play no games and have experiences where you are taken somewhere that's like awesome and cool and there's great music and artwork and just something you can enjoy. Because apparently you that's not for you. You want to just hate on shit and be stupid. So just do that shit. I, I've never been as excited as I am for the Switch like I've been for a console ever. And I, I can't believe like the stupid shit the media is saying and the people, the the stuff these YouTubers are saying. And not to mention, these YouTubers are fucking losers. They're all losers who are talking shit. If you haven't noticed, they're losers. They don't have, they, they have no lives. Their lives are centered around a god being in front of a computer screen and responding to comments. Now, I really want you to think on that. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. So, I'm not going to take their advice on shit. Like, they say there's no launch games for the the Switch. And they have Zelda. Like, what console in recent memory has came out with a game as big as fucking Zelda? Like, you, you idiots are like, quantity over quality. Like, you're literally, you're screaming that shit. Y'all are a bunch of stupid fucking assholes. With the Switch, like, guerrilla marketing, this shit is about to be big. It's going to be bigger than the Wii or the GameCube or the fucking PlayStation or the PS2 or any of that shit. People forget the people, gamers nowadays, a lot of these fuck boys are stupid young assholes that don't know their history. That's all it is, man. Guerrilla marketing. We got to go back, 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 way back. Guerrilla marketing. It's an unconventional way to really get your shit out there without spending a lot of money, right? That's what guerrilla marketing is. The first, like, real known source of it that somebody pinpointed uh pizza pie makers in new york city right they used to have they used to the family used to sit down and eat the pizza as a whole that's how it was done man they didn't sell pizzas by the slice uh one day this fucking entrepreneur had a genius idea i'm gonna walk i'm gonna cut this pie up and i'm gonna take some slices and i'm gonna walk them around outside and the people can smell it see it and they'll they'll want the pizza and holy shit you go to New York City, like, every place has slices of pizza. And that was an insane idea. Think about that. Just think about that. People see the pizza, and now the, this generates all types of ideas. Consumers are, they're not, there's a lot of gray areas. They're not black and white. There's a lot of stuff going on in consumers' minds. And people like to be intrigued, man. And the form factor of the Nintendo Switch is scary for the haters. You talk like this thing just looks cool, but then I can take it anywhere. And if somebody sees this thing running Mario Kart, ain't no fucking, ain't no PC in the world with how many fucking Titans gonna compete with this bitch? It's a form factor. That's what it's about. Like, I guarantee you, like, I've seen this commercial, and this dude's playing Zelda on the plane. He's got the Switch, and this chick's looking over, and he's just not checking him out. It's like, it's subtle. It's it's true. It's like, this is honest marketing. But she's looking at the Switch, and he looks over and smiles at her. I can absolutely see that happening. Like, Zelda's a fucking cool, pretty-ass game, man. A lot of chicks dig this shit. They'll dig it more than you fucking sitting there playing some bullshit-ass Call of Duty all day, grabbing your nuts, thinking you're a real fucking man.
You understand how that works? But like this, this, this shit is badass. And the haters, man, these haters, they, they can't stand it. They're used to, they're, they're, they're not gamers anymore. Let's just be very clear. But f- for all this to just go over your mind, over your brain, everything I just said, it just goes over your head, the possibilities, the ideas, the form factor. Like, if all that goes over your head and you still have to concentrate on trying to downplay this thing or make it look bad or, you know, teach your gospel to your stupid fucking little fanboy fan base that this thing sucks or I got some rumor news here to tell you about the Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch. You know, these things may cost this much. It may get this game. Like, just get, I don't know why the fuck people are still watching you guys. YouTube has damn near fucking ruined gaming. I swear to God. Like, you look in the comment section, it's horrible. I think the comment section should just, should just go away on YouTube. Like, the most dumbest shit is said. It gives people, like, like these haters a, a voice. Like, there is no common sense. There is, like, like some, like, I'm sorry, man, but some of these motherfuckers are, like, they're, like, 500 pounds. They can't even walk their, like, they get, they don't like to switch the motion controls, their idea of it, because they're too fucking fat to get off their goddamn fucking fat asses outside to do anything. The possibility of being outside of their goddamn fucking, away from their goddamn PC and out anywhere socially is a distant memory to them. So why the fuck are people listening to them? It makes no sense. What's up, YouTube? This is Nintendo Lebo. Nintendo Lebowski. It's all about the Switch. I'm excited for this system. And yesterday I was putting some more money towards my pre-order. And the GameStop employee, I normally don't like these bastards, but he was excited for the Switch like I was. And he was giddy. I was giddy. And we were both talking about it. And it was just this positive energy I haven't felt in a long time. And I thought, there is something going down with this Nintendo Switch. Because there's just too much excitement. The pre-orders are doing things I haven't seen. The accessories. Like, the accessories are doing shit I have not seen. The haters are doing shit I have not seen. Okay, and it's just, it's like there are forces at nature here. Like, you know, like Hillary was supposed to be president and that somehow Trump's the president right now. Like, that kind of shit. Like, you, you fucking people who are predicting things and telling us how it is. You're about to look fucking stupid. Just like the media did with the whole Trump shit. Look, you're about to look stupid. Because there's subtle things going on that if you just, if you get your head out of your ass and look around, you'd be like, damn. First of all, the excitement for the Switch, the buzz, is insane. I have not been this excited for a piece of gaming hardware ever. The aesthetics, the mobility of it, just what it can do, the games, Splatoon, Mario Kart Deluxe, the new Xenoblade is over. It launches with Zelda. Are you for real? Is this, and like, pinch me, please. Am I fucking dreaming? Okay, but then, like, some stuff is going down. January 12th, they showed off the Nintendo Switch. The world had been waiting for this day forever. Been Googling the Nintendo Switch more than the Xbox One and PS4 combined in 2016. That's, that's how the buzz is. So they showed off January 12th. Well, that night I worked. And I got off work, and it was really bright outside. And I thought to myself, are they showing this shit off on a full moon? And I didn't know then, because sometimes you're off. It could be a day off, and it still looks like a full moon. But last night, I decided to go look. Because I was like, this, there's too many coincidence, coincidences going down. Looked at the 2017 full moon schedule... January 12th, there was a wolf moon. Full moon. The Japanese are smart, and their culture runs deep, so I don't know what is going on, or what happened, or if that was a coincidence or what. But, it was shown during a full moon, and the buzz, crazy. Insane. And then, the Super Bowl. The Patriots are not supposed to win this game. How, how are they going to come back up 28-3? I was thinking that sucks for Nintendo because if it's a blowout, people don't people aren't going to be as interested in the game. So, you know that kind of goes against what that commercial would do. But you're talking about this commercial is shown in the biggest comeback in Super Bowl history 
happens. Like, it really happened. It's, I, I can't even really believe it now. But somehow, after that commercial, everything switched up. Biggest comeback. Is that is that foreshadowing some shit for Nintendo? I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if it is, but I think that's just kind of interesting. When you just look at just the, the, the buzz. Like, the haters are going crazy. You got... You got grown men who are doing videos just hating on something that isn't even out yet because I don't they, they don't even know why. Like they're like they're fucking obsessed. It's crazy, man. It's a good time to be a gamer. It's not a good time to be a fanboy. It's never a good time to be a fanboy. You're gonna see Xbox gameplay on this channel, but the switch is where I'm going. It's where it's at, man. What up, YouTube? This is Blackie Lebowski. We're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch. The dock, is it scratching the screens on the Nintendo Switch? I don't think so. Uh, Reggie feels, man, he did a, he talked to somebody. I'll leave you a link in the description. They're, they're saying, hey, Reggie, your, your device, is, it's no good. It's scratching the screens. And Reggie's like, nope. Nintendo's putting their foot down to this bullshit gaming journalist, journalism, so-called. It's not... It's, it's a bunch of trash. That's what it is. And Reggie feels amazed. Like, nope. Our R&D, we've done literally hundreds of events. None of this is happening. So, nope. And they, they're they putting their foot down. This is great. And why? Okay, well, CNET, they got a Switch. What were they doing with that Switch? Do you remember? They were hitting the front of it with the Joy-Cons, treating it like shit. Okay? Pushing it over. And then saying that something was wrong with the Switch. We, I mean, we got to put bad in Nintendo and wrong in the title to get those clicks, right? I mean, Jesus. Because we got so many people who want to hate on Nintendo. So when people are like, well, the dock's scratching screens. No, it's not. I've had my Switch for a week. What you fucking idiots, idiots are doing, you're holding it sideways. You're doing some dumb shit. You've done some dumb shit to your Switch. And you scratch the screen. And how, how dare it be on you? How fucking dare that shit be on you? It's got to be that Nintendo Switch dock, right? Right? There is nothing wrong with the dock. I think the Nintendo Switch has really enlightened anybody who's been paying attention. Uh, just how stupid the media is, the internet is, the the YouTubers are. I mean, they're just. I mean, there's just a bunch of fake ass people trying to get clicks. That's all it is. That's all this shit is, and I'm trying to be a voice of reason. So, I mean, if you click on this video and hear this, you'll probably get a lot of satisfaction. Because you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm in heaven right now. This is my gaming setup. You know, I got the Switch. I've had this thing for one week. I take it to work every fucking day. So your dock is not scratching up your screens. I have a little bit of tiny scratching right here. But that's from me using that shit. And I don't really care. Like, this thing, it looks like this screen is this, it's made to be replaced. I don't give a fuck. And it's supposed to, it's like you can touch it and do all types of shit. It's like an iPhone screen. So, I mean, touch the fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Uh, for it to be such a shitty console, people sure are worried about scratching their shit. But, uh, friend codes. So, I think that Nintendo... Maybe they're onto something here. Call me crazy. All right, let's just just look for a second, okay? I want to add somebody. There's my friend code two three four eight six zero zero two eight six two three. And if I want to search for somebody, I add their friend code. Now on Xbox Live, I have a friend. This is a hypothetical. His his name, his gamer tag is Ted McJiggles Nuts. Okay, and Ted loves his Call of Duty and Ted's hardcore, okay? So Ted has a lowercase and a capitalized X at the beginning and end of his gamer tag, and the the E's are threes, so on and so forth. Now, if I want to add somebody, look, this just just I'm thinking logically here. 
Because gamers, for the most part, don't. That's why Call of Duty's still around. You just don't fucking think logically. Uh, had a 12 digit friend code. So Ted McJiggles Nuts calls me. Hey, black ass, add me on Xbox. Okay, Ted. I'm sitting, I'm trying to get your fucking name, but it's not working. Um, hey, what, what about a 12 digit number? Like, I don't understand. What the fuck is wrong with people? It's just like people are so just embedded with just the normal and how things have been. When when shit outside of that, it, when, even when it's more efficient, it's just not a part of the normal. People lose their shit. And it just shows you that a lot of people today just don't have a lick of fucking common sense. And they're, they're doing videos trying to get clicks, not even knowing what they're talking about. Uh, so that's why I think Frank Hogue's that maybe, I don't know. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but Jesus fucking Christ, like you can't argue with what I just showed you. What's up, YouTube? This is Blackie Lebowski. So the Nintendo Switch is out. It's popular, right? I got mine. And when I opened the box, I noticed that there was an extreme level of craftsmanship and quality. And after using it for, you know, now I've had it three weeks, the form factor is something I can't live without. And so I got to thinking, I was at Target the other day, there was PS4 Pros everywhere. And I was like, this is crazy. It shows, it's not crazy, I've known this, but it just shows that gaming is not all about graphics. There's so much more to it than just graphics or a number that people try to put along with a game to make it seem good or bad, even if it's the same video game, you know, like a lot of third-party games. If one's in 900p, there's no way it can be good. If one has a slightly better frame rate, there's no way it can be good. And Zelda has some hiccups in the frame rates, so you can't deny it. There's some spots where that is what it is, but it doesn't take away from the experience. It doesn't take away from how immersive the game is. And Breath of the Wild was like a Wii U game. So, I mean, we need to see how games are going to look running on the Switch built the ground up for the Switch. And But just seeing everything how it is, it's, it's an amazing piece of technology. Just to have a game like Zelda and being able to take that anywhere. It's just, it's got such a demand and such a, such a attraction to it. That the PS4 Pro don't. And the PS4 Pro is like the most powerful console to date. You can't argue with that. It is the most powerful home gaming console you can buy with money. And they're, they're not sold out. So that shows the market is showing. I'm not showing you anything. But the market says it's not all about graphics. It's not all about having just another box with Nintendo and more power. That's not going to help the gaming industry. And Nintendo's proved that with the Nintendo Switch. They do something so out of the ordinary. And you get so many just ways to play your games. And you can do it in different ways. And it's just clean and it's exciting and it's fun. And it's just something I'm so glad to have. And if you have a Nintendo Switch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I had to literally pull myself off. Breath of the Wild because the game started consuming my life. I started hearing Zelda music. No shit. Like, in my head when I was trying to sleep. But I was like, this is getting out of control. So, yeah. It's like that. And I think it's fun. I think it's just a fun time to see all the haters get proved wrong. And just to see the... Just to know. Like, gamers know. It's about artwork, music. It's about the gameplay. That's where... That's, that's what keeps us coming back. It's not like... How many pores can I count on this dude's nose? Like, that's stupid. That's really stupid. It's awesome, but it's stupid in the same in the same sense. I think I think you guys will understand where I'm coming from. But anyway, I hope you're enjoying your Switch. I'm enjoying mine. I leave my friend code. Mario Kart is like a little bit more than a month away. I can't wait. I played that Mario Kart, but it's just something about the Switch. I can play it anywhere now. It's just. Every game I play, I just it's like it has to be on the Switch to get that form factor. And that's Nintendo really has done something revolutionary. So I hope you're enjoying your Switch. I hope you're having a good time playing Zelda. 
and the hype, it just, it's not stopped because Mario Kart's coming now. It's just crazy. It's never happened. So the market has spoken loud about the Nintendo Switch, and it's spoken much more forcefully and with much more effect than these haters have, okay? You can't buy a Nintendo Switch anywhere. I called Toys R Us on the 25th. They were supposed to get some in that day. The manager said that he had a line of people before 6 a.m., this is three weeks after launch. He used the word insanity to describe that situation. I couldn't believe that there would be people waiting outside a store before 6 a.m., three weeks after the item has already launched. It's just that hard to get a hold of. And so that really goes to show how popular the Switch is. But it's popular for a lot of reasons, more than just, you know, Nintendo fanboys want it. It's the form factor. It's... It's the current state of gaming. It's just in a bad spot. You know, the PS4, the Xbox One, the PC. This shit is just boring. And it's stagnant as shit. And I'm not going to go there anymore. Once you have a Nintendo Switch, you will understand the light will be shown to you. And until you have one, you can shut the fuck up about it. Because you literally are the death to gaming. Like, these idiots waving around three Nintendo cartridges from 1986. Uh, I got the PC people. Nintendo's all wrong. Like, these people are the dumbest idiots walking on the planet. On the face of the earth. If, you ha if the Nintendo Switch hasn't proved that beyond all reasonable doubt. Then, then the sun is not bright. These people said it would be dead on arrival. What happens? It is not dead on arrival. They said it was going to flop. It's not going to have no games. Like, these people are even saying there's no games until Mario Odyssey. How, how are these fanboys so delusional? Motherfucker, the only person that's delusional is saying that the Switch ain't got no games except Zelda and Mario. Because you just left out fucking Splatoon, Mario Kart, fucking Xenoblade... And so on and so forth. There's a lot of good games. More than anything I want on the fucking PlayStation or Xbox or the precious fucking PC. And, I mean, if you take these people's advice, like, go ahead and build a PC and resell it. Because that's the, that's the superior shit, right? Let, what does that market say? That market says you fucked up because when you go to resell any of them parts, the depreciation is crazy. You lose money. Hell, if you bought a Wii U, you can sell it now and make money. So who's who's the motherfucker being smart here? The person buying shit that loses value right away? Or the people who are investing in things that are very popular and worth more than the retail? I mean, you can fucking hit that like button or come up with some triggered-ass excuse trying to tell me that I'm fucking wrong. But we're dealing with dollars here, motherfucker. Go on eBay and look up the depreciation on PC parts versus what Nintendo does. And then suck my fucking fat black dick, motherfucker. Y'all people are really stupid. And the Weapon Wheel podcast, like, this, this, these, these motherfuckers invited me on this shit a long time ago. I knew it was just a bunch of dumb, ignorant-ass niggas. And, and that's all it's been ever since. And what happens when you get a bunch of dumb, ignorant-ass niggas together? You get a bunch of dumb, ignorant-ass shit. You get fucking gang violence. You get niggas robbing each other, killing each other. You get these motherfuckers saying Nintendo needs to goddamn make a traditional console and compete with third party, like, get all that shit. That's what you get, man. And so it's just a beauty to see the Nintendo Switch being live in the flesh and these idiots, these morons who don't know shit about business, they don't know shit about manufacturing, they don't know shit about shareholders or fucking anything dividends they don't know fucking shit about shit but they're gonna tell you everything you need to know about the gaming industry and the only thing that the nintendo switch has proven is that if these people had it their way the gaming industry would crash overnight all right youtube this is blackie lebowski the switch is super hot as a consumer item but uh we got we, we might have a problem okay now i love my switch I, it's it's put my Xbox on standby completely. I don't even care. I don't even give a fuck about what's going on with Xbox or Xbox Scorpio. That's how big the Switch is, okay? It's a, it's a fucking big thing. So you need to look at your power button, guys, on your Switch. Look very closely at the back side around the power button. 
Just just do it because look at look what happened. This is the visual aid. My switch has probably got seventy hours on it. It goes it went to work with me a few times. I got a raise a few weeks ago, so I'm like not taking my switch to work because I just got a fucking raise. I want to make sure you know I work real hard and just you know keep doing a good job. So I decided not to keep bringing the switch to work. But there's like some hairline crack. I don't know what's going on. I went to the Googles and looked at Reddit, and this is happening to a few people. This is my switch. I'm extremely careful with it. If you say in the comment section, oh, you dumbass, you dropped it, take care of it, better care of your shit, you're a fucking ass pirate. Okay, because I've, I've said it like multiple times that I take very good care of my switch. And I know that idiot's out there, that fucking fanboy who's in denial of everything. They're just going to be like, no way, it's perfect to the point where nothing could be wrong. Like, the left Joy-Cons weren't desyncing. Yeah, they were. I had to send my shit to Nintendo. Still a better console than anything I bought in 20 years. Even with this shit going on with this little crack at the top. At first, I was going to say, it gives a character. Right? A little character. It's all good. But then, like, I see other people, I'm like, fuck. All right. The Switch. The most satisfying thing about the Switch is it's, it's the success of the Switch, Okay. There were a lot of naysayers, uh, certain podcasts, the, you know, just people, YouTubers, a lot of, a lot of dumbasses, um, the usual suspects. And they're proven wrong. And I think to be proven wrong, completely wrong, is, is very it's humbling. Because people get so caught up in their agendas and, and what they're preaching to their, you know, their small fan bases, they really lose sight of what the fuck is going on. They're just a bunch of fucking assholes. And so eventually, they have an agenda where they have to conform. They all conform to the same agenda. Okay, let's hate Nintendo. Everything Nintendo does, we gotta hate on it. Let's, let's, let's try to make them as traditional as possible and be like the worst people that could possibly exist in the realm of gaming. Let's not try anything new, but let's keep shit the same. Let's keep pumping power into it. I call them home improvement gamers. <laughs> more power. More power. They're just stupid fucking idiots, man. But these people, their fan bases, they, they may have initially started out as something, you know, that wasn't so nasty and so just one-track minded, but that's what they've become. And the Switch has flipped all this shit on us here. And I love it. I've been rooting for Nintendo for uh, since I got the Wii U. Because I thought the Wii, the Wii U was still an amazing console. I like to speak numbers. Money, numbers, they, they really trump everything. And the resale value on Nintendo, it, it's, a, it's a very smart investment. As opposed to a PC. Let me explain to you. I know a lot of you fuckers, your heads are about to explode. Build you a PC or go on eBay right now, look up used gaming PCs, and then compare those parts to what they are new. There is quick and quite a bit of depreciation on these parts. They're hobby made, okay? They don't really hold their value. That may be important to you how you built that computer, but to many others, we just, they don't give a fuck. Okay, and the market shows that, and the money you spent on that, and what you can get back in return shows that. So whatever ignorant ass motherfucking idea you got in your head about which is better is, is what? I let the resale value speak and Nintendo is a better investment than Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming, anything. Because whatever you buy from them is going to be worth money in the future. And these people have an agenda. They want you to hate Nintendo. They hate Nintendo. and They have all this. It's collapsed. It's literally collapsed. No pun intended. They have nowhere to run. Like, the, the Switch is about to sell like a motherfucker. These people have no... They have nothing to say. They have nothing to say. Because, you know what? I can call GameStop, and they're going to tell me it's sold out. I'm going to go to Best Buy. It's sold out. It's been over a month. Like, what's going on? Well, the Wii U was the same. Bitch, you are goddamn delusional. I went and bought a Wii U a week after launch. No problem. No problem at all. Had, my friends were getting them too. The people, the few people who got them when they launched, they were no problem to get. 
The switch is completely different. Yet you're so brainwashed and ass fucked with Sony's dick in your eye and Microsoft's dick in your ear and then Windows 10 dick up your ass because you like PC so much that, that you just can't handle it. You can't handle it. So you make up some more excuses. Well, people are just, people are stupid people. And I think it's hilarious to watch. I don't watch anybody, but it, I know that your egos have been fucked. Everything that you're going for is just not working out for you. And deep down, deep down, that fucking hurts. It really hurts you, and you're not happy about it. And that's why you're going to do another podcast. You're going to probably mention me, and you're going to fucking talk about how the Switch is underpowered, or the next problem with it is the doom and gloom of Nintendo. And you know what I say? You're just a bunch of fuckboys in a fuckboy world. You can go suck a ass pirate dick. This is Blackie Lebowski. So I got my Nintendo Switch. Check it out. I was having problems with the syncing on that left Joy-Con like a lot of people. So let me show you what I did. When I had problems, my Nintendo Switch was right here. I'm not kidding you. It was losing. It wasn't staying synced. I moved the Nintendo Switch and got it like kind of flush with my receiver there. And it fixed a lot of those problems. Now, if I take the left Joy-Con and like put it behind my back, it would lose sync for a second, but nothing like before when it was like up in the entertainment center. I have a wireless router back in there, the Xbox, the receiver, they're all wireless. So there's a lot of interference that would fuck that up. But let's just talk about the Nintendo Switch for a moment. I've had about six friends come over and visit me and they've seen it. The reactions people have when they see me take this fucking thing out of the dock. I'm playing Zelda with the Pro Controller. Just playing Zelda. They're like, damn, that's a pretty game. And I say, check this out. And I grab that motherfucker out of there. Everybody loses their fucking mind. PlayStation can't do that shit. Xbox can't do that shit. Nintendo has done something in a big way. In a, in a, something I couldn't have fathom. None of us could have fathomed this shit. Thank God for Nintendo. And look at this Zelda. I want to just say this real quick. If you're talking shit on YouTube and you're not playing Breath of the Wild because it's on a Wii U or a Switch, you're a fucking idiot. And you're not a gamer. You have an entire different agenda going on. But if you're not playing that shit right now and you think you know games and shit, you don't know jack shit. And you can shut the fuck up. The best, the best game in fucking 20 years. Easy Zelda, right there. I'm playing it, because you know what? I went and bought a Switch, because I didn't want to say, hey, I'm fucking loyal to Xbox or PlayStation or whoever the fuck. No, I fucking enjoy, I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm enjoying myself as a gamer so much. You should be able to hear it in my voice. I am in gaming fucking Heaven. This is heaven. If you want to know what gaming heaven is, it's not behind a fucking PC. Hell no. It's on a console somewhere playing fucking Breath of the Wild. Thank you, Nintendo. And thank you, haters, for being the haters you are. Because not only do you look fucking stupid, but the message that, that toxic sew sewage bullshit coming out of your mouth, it not only does it have no effect, but it just shows that you, you ain't shit. You're nothing. You're nothing in the grand scheme of things. You ain't shit. And like I said, if you're not playing Zelda Breath of the Wild right now, you, you just you need to fucking shut the fuck up about video games and never speak about them ever again. <laughs> Two out of ten people have had it for a month. 
well, whatever today is, and uh, it's frozen for the first time. You know, it turned on, and here's my game, and it's frozen. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. This thing is trash. It's trash, people. Look at this. A month and a few, like, almost a month and a half, it freezes one time. One time. One time. Failure. Failure. What a fucking flop. My PC would never do that. My PC never fucks up or freezes or gets any bugs because I'm watching people fuck each other up the ass on YouPorn. Oh no. Oh no. But, exposed. And look at this Zelda. I want to just say this real quick. If you're talking shit on YouTube and you're not playing Breath of the Wild because it's on a Wii U or a Switch, you're a fucking idiot. And you're not a gamer. You have an entire different agenda going on. But if you're not playing that shit right now and you think you know games and shit, you don't know jack shit. And you can shut the fuck up. And like I said, if you're not playing Zelda Breath of the Wild right now... You, you just, you need to fucking shut the fuck up about video games and never speak about them ever again. And like I said, if you're not playing Zelda Breath of the Wild right now, you, you just, you need to fucking shut the fuck up about video games and never speak about them ever again. I know you get attacked on a daily basis on YouTube, and that's all fine and dandy. But when you have someone on Xbox Live, with a gamer score that completely demolishes yours, by the way. With a gamer score that completely demolishes yours, by the way. With a gamer score that completely demolishes yours, by the way. So, you wouldn't see me as a, a pony or whatever. We all know you're an Xbox guy. Well, I don't even know about that, because. Your past Ashvillian character was all about Nintendo shit. Your past Ashvillian character was all about Nintendo shit. Your past Ashvillian character was all about Nintendo shit. Exposed! 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 Fucking exposed! Exposed, Dio! Thanks for exposing yourself, clown! Exposed.